Hi everybody, my name is Jill Miller and I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona and this is my entree entry for the um, Real Women of Philadelphia Cream Cheese Contest and I'm really excited to share this with you. It's a really quick recipe um, and it's pretty tasty. So uh, let me just start um, telling you, it's a cilantro pesto chicken brujol and it has, it's rolled chicken that has a cilantro pesto cream cheese inside with some piquillo peppers and some ham. And it's rolled up and cooked on the stove top, which is great with a um, salsa sauce. So let me tell you how I made that. I'll start with my pesto. The pesto is um, made in a food processor. It's two cups of cilantro with a third cup of pistachios and two garlic cloves, a half a cup of olive oil, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper. You're going to do your cilantro and put your pistachios first. Then you're going to get your um, garlic in the food processor, pulse it a few times, get your cheese in, pulse it a few times, and then you want to run the processor and slowly drizzle in your half a cup of olive oil. Once your pesto comes together, then you will drop into the um, processor eight ounces of Philadelphia original cream cheese and process that till it's smooth. And once that is um, completed, then you can start building your chicken brujol or your chicken roll. And you can do this one of two ways. You can either buy pre-made chicken cutlets where you're going to your butcher and he's already pounded them out, butterflied and pound them out, or you can butterfly your own and pound them out and get them ready for um, your filling. So once you have your chicken cutlet ready, um, spread the pesto, the cilantro pesto cream cheese on your chicken chicken cutlet. Layer a few of the um, roasted piquillo peppers on top of the cilantro cream cheese. And then your next step is you're going to put a, a few pieces of your ham. It depends if you get them sliced thin at the deli. Um, you're going to need to make probably about two slices of thin sliced ham. I used a black forest ham for um, my recipe today. And once your ham is down there, then you're going to start rolling up your chicken. And then you want to secure it with toothpicks if you have those, or you can use string. If you do use toothpicks, it's very important to remember when, before you serve your chicken brujol, remove your toothpicks. Toothpicks are not tasty. So you want to take your toothpicks out. But prior to that, you're going to secure your chicken with your toothpicks, and then you're going to take your rolls and put them in a um, skillet on your stovetop with a little olive oil that's heated because you want to brown those roll, chicken rolls on all sides. While your chicken is in the pan browning, you're going to use your food processor again to create your sauce. And in the food processor, you want to put two cups of your favorite salsa and a few um, dashes of hot sauce. Puree that salsa down so it uh, looks like a tomato, tomato sauce, tomato puree but it has so much flavor because there's onions and cilantro and jalapenos and all these wonderful things right in your salsa. So it does a lot of duty for you right there. So once your chicken is browned, you're going to remove them from the pan and onto a plate, reserve them to the side, and then you want to dump in your um, salsa puree you've just made. Bring that up to heat and then put your chicken back in. Um, put the lid on it and then you're going to finish cooking your chicken in your pan for about 15 more minutes so you can cook it through. Once they're done, you can take them out, slice them, you know, make them pretty, on the, slice them on the bias so you can see all the pretty layers within your chicken roll. Um, pour a little bit of the uh, salsa sauce that you've created over the top. So here's your chicken and as it's cut and you, you can see the inside and the ham and the peppers and your um, your cilantro um, pesto cream cheese um, inside. Let me take a bite. Mmm, that's really good. You can taste the peppers, you get the cream cheese, you get the ham. The salsa using as a sauce is great. Um, it's wonderful. I hope you try my dish. Um, my name is Jill Miller. I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona, and thank you Paula Dean and Philadelphia Cream Cheese for the opportunity to enter your contest, and I hope you will try my um, cilantro pesto chicken brujol. Thank you.